So welcome, Dina. What brought you to IGRCA to begin with? Um, you know, I, um, I was working in a different career. I was working in film and uh, personally I was dealing with some health issues and found out I had some chronic health issues and that was really tough to deal with. Um, I was grateful for the doctors that I had, but one of the things that was sort of missing was um, how to live now, how to make meaning in my life now that I was uh, dealing with all of these challenges and my doctors really weren't addressing that. Um, and so I started experimenting with spiritual approaches to it, both in my own tradition, coming from a conservative Jewish background, and in other traditions. I was just really curious. I'm not the first person to deal with these challenges. Um, and that rediscovery of spirituality in me made me realize I wanted to uh, bring that potentially to others. Mm -hmm. um, and I started looking into ways that was possible. And I didn't think I was a therapist. And I didn't think I was necessarily a, an energy healer. Um, but somewhere in the middle where um, I could just be present with people when they were having some of the same challenges. And so when I started looking into chaplaincy, I was just really um, wonderfully pleasantly surprised by the way that AJR described its chaplaincy program and um, once I touched base with the school and started to inquire, just more and more seemed like the path that was right for me. Beautiful. And what did you find here, what was your experience like at AJR and what, what challenges or what benefits did you derive from this? Oh goodness, that's, that's tough to even put into words. Um, I think mentorship got really um, not from one person but from different faculty and different other students who sort of carried my journey in different ways through the process i think intellectual stimulation i think a lot of independence in guiding my own education and using the resources to go in the direction i wanted to go um, and I benefited from community in a new way that was different than other academic communities and different from other Jewish communities in the diversity of it. Yeah. It's beautifully yeah. articulated. I think that's what we're proud of, all those variables that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you'll be doing when you graduate from school? What do you aspire to do? With the uh, thank you. Um, well, I'm, uh, I'm very, very lucky in that uh, place where I did three of my clinical training units, my CPE, or in a place where I did three of those units, uh, the Motion Picture and Television Fund uh, hired me about a year and a half ago um, as a chaplain on staff. Um, Motion Picture Television Fund is a, a community where 250 seniors live in assisted living and skilled nursing, independent living, dementia and memory care, and um, I, it's an honor to serve as their chaplain. Um, and they're all people who were in the entertainment business and who now live there. And so we have also the special connection that I too am an entertainment retiree. Um, and, um, and so I get to um, meld both the spiritual work I'm doing and the narrative and creative work that fueled me before. Well, that sounds very exciting and I'm sure it'll benefit from your uh, sagacity, your, your <laughs> sense of autonomy and independence and, and the wide array of knowledge that you carry within you because of your curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge in the past. I've always been impressed by, by your wisdom and, and your directness and your uh, respectfulness and, and uh, I know the community, that you, whatever community that you're in will benefit from, from you and we hope that you'll continue your connection to the school and uh, the, the thesis which will become a book I'm sure and a very valuable book. Uh, will, will be another asset in, in elevating the world and, and honoring the elderly and their journey through life. So thank you so much, Dina. Thank you very much.